again everyone i just thought i'd pop back on and show you the um finished drop sheet washi tape that i made the other day you know when i was doing these journal covers when i was showing you do those um i'd covered some bread paper I can't speak this morning covered a, a bread wrapper with some wide masking tape and used it as like my drop sheet like um oh sue heads showed us how to do it that's what she'd done but she'd actually used she's told me since uh, um or i'd forgotten a plastic one of the flexible chopping boards so i've just put some on there yeah, that's all got tangled up. I'll sort that out in a minute. I don't know where I bought this tape from, but I've had this one a long while. Um, I only found it the other day, so it's probably lost its stickiness. But yeah, she'd use one of these, so I'm going to use that for the next one. I just thought I would show you what how it turned out. Because when I'd finished doing my covers, I'd got loads of paint well no i haven't got loads of paint left but i just carried on and um thought, oh well, i'll carry on playing and i'm really pleased to so say this is the bread paper and this was a just a a clear sheet that i'd put some on i love it really pretty i well, it's a mixture of paints, mixture of the cheaper paints and dilutions and got my stencils out. Uh, that little bit there is a... <laughs> Anybody that's into the painty thing and that, we all save these things, don't we? But it's actually one of these annoying bottle tops that are supposed to be child proof but they're betsy doodle proof because i cannot get them off oh it drives me mental you have to push it down and turn it around and i just can never do them so anyway <laughs> that's what that is uh say so i just use my stencil different stencils and bits of bubble wrap and stamps that's a stamp that's just a little i don't know little lid off of something yeah that was that one and then this is the and this is it's all right but oh no it's coming off there yeah it's ripping a little bit there but Love it, love, love, love it. I don't know that I would do it on the I think you just have to pick your place to pull it off. That one's coming off all right. Look. Oh yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is just leave this on there. I shan't bother cutting it up into strips, I'll so I'm sure I'll be giving lots of it away <laughs> and then just cut it off in strips as I want to use it right I think I need nourishment because I'm talking more twaddle than normal but I just wanted to show you that I'd finished it and it actually looked brighter through my screen than it it does but it's still it's still very pretty yeah I love it Right, thanks for watching everyone. Take care. Uh, oh, and thank you, Sue Heads, for giving us this idea because I think it's brill.